Let's turn this 36 inch handle. Thirty six inches, and we're turning it into about a twenty eight and a half inch wedge banger. Store bought handle. As you can see, we've taken a pile off, and we're going to put this head on it. This is one of the heads that came from Johnny Arnett. See how that eye is? That's why I'm making it a wedge banger. Right? It's got a good splitting profile, so it'll make a good all-arounder. It'll also split wood. Sounds like fun, huh? I'm loving it. Nice and slow right at the end so you don't get a big sliver, right? There we go. Oh, it's ready to go down. It is ready to go down. That's what you do when you don't have a belt sander.
<laughs> oh, that's going to be a dandy. Oh yeah, that bad boy ain't going nowhere. She smashed purple heartwood. Oh yeah. Oh, she's pretty. This old handle's been laying around here for a long time. So if you want to repurpose a handle that you have that you're not going to use, this was a big old 36 inch split and maul handle or something crazy straight. Well, not anymore, right? I would say it turned out pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. And if you're wondering what I'm going to do for a palm swell, because it's straight, I'm going to wrap paracord around that. I'm going to wrap paracord right around that. Boy, that's a beauty. Hey. Woohoo! That's a dandy.
Got to make sure it's tight, right? Oh, she's tight, all right. <clears throat> I don't want to pull down in there very good. Give it a little bit of help here. Because it's basically just to let you know that you're at the end of the handle, right? There we go. I know there's many, many more ways to do this, but this is what Tasman's doing today. We got us a dandy. Let's try to get it in the middle. There. There we go. There. Now we're cooking. More, more dig up. Oh, boy. That's a beautiful piece of work. Those little grooves are pretty cool. Thanks for that idea, Bucket. It works good. Works real good. I think she's going to drive wedges just fine. Well, that's nice. Let you know you're at the end anyway. That's what it's for, right? Oh, yeah. That thing ain't going nowhere. <laughs> awesome. I'd really like to thank, uh, first I want to thank Johnny Arnett for the, for the awesome jersey pattern heads and for the tools. As you can see, I was using them. Spoke shave. The rounded rasp got used. Great tool. Thanks, Johnny Arnett. I appreciate it, buddy. 
I'm using the stuff and I also want to thank Buck and Billy Ray and I want to thank Casterman for tips on building for building axes you know I, I'm no I'm no axe builder but and that's not what this video is about this video is more about hey you can do it too with minimal tools and just a little bit of time a little bit of patience it's not bad it's not bad at all I can't balance for nothing but it's about right and like I said this is just an old handle that I had laying around turn it into an absolutely beautiful wedge banger throw it in the pickup way you go we still got to sharpen her up but it's ready to rock Thanks everybody for all the inspiration and all the help and all the support. I truly appreciate it. Thanks for joining me on this nice sunshiny day in the saw shack and out here putting together a wedge banger. Love y'all. Take care. Be safe. Guys, man, is rolling. Be kind.